Through, bro. Sun's up. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Warden. Start fresh. But remember what brought you here. I've remembered every night since I've been in this place. Cheap, drunken gambler grabbing a man's own wife. Pawn her. I had every right to kill him. No man has that right. Now put those hands of yours to better use. Here. Here's ten dollars. Twelve years. Dubrow, go home. Home? Won't be much of a home. Land lying fallow all these years. House not lived in. Must be weeds and firewood by now. No family? Well, my wife Julia died six months after they brought me here. And we had a little girl. Where is she? I don't know. Julia's sister took her in. She must be almost a woman by now. She'll take care of you. Not if I can help it, she won't. What? Well, I mean, it'd be better for her if she don't see me. All I could bring her is shame. Can I go now? Stay back with me. In here. Don't come back here. I knew you'd be getting out of... Uh, that you'd be coming back any day. Well... You've seen me and... I've seen you. Thank you for coming. I came to bring you home. After 12 years, I got no home. No family. Just me. And that's the way I want it. I'm your daughter, Papa. Years don't change that. Well, they have. I'm sorry, but they have. I wrote to you. I kept writing. It's all right that you didn't answer, Papa. I understand. Now, look, little girl. Your ma died almost 12 years ago. And as far as you're concerned, so did your pa. Oh, I don't care what you did. I want to help you. No. I want to be with you, Papa. I love you. Look, I got a lot of living to catch up on. I don't want no little girl hanging around my neck. So stay away from me. Honor bright, Papa. I won't believe you unless you say it to my face. Say it. Honor bright. We'll never lie to each other, will we, Lori? No, Papa, never. That's my girl. Honor bright. Means we can't go back on our word, no matter what. Not ever. I 
like you remember it, Laurie. Wood rocks and paint fields, you know. The town's built up a lot in 12 years, Papa. The uh, land should be more valuable. Not this land. We just have one last look at it before we sell it, all right? Pull up, pull up, Laurie, pull up, pull up. Whoa! Just a minute here. Still our farm, and ain't nobody gonna come and take over just cause we've been away. Give me them reins, Laurie. Don't get excited, Papa. Maybe somebody didn't want you to come home to anything shabby. Get up. I hope you like it, Papa. Oh, I just finished the curtains in time. How did you do so much, Laurie? It was hard work, but it was fun. You know, I don't think I'll ever get that paint smell out of my nose. Oh, but we so wanted to get it ready by the time you'd be home, Papa. Who's we? Laurie! Hey, Laurie! I hit it! The biggest, the sweetest water in the whole county. Oh, Vince! Just two feet down from yesterday, two feet, and there she was. I told you I'd find water here, didn't I? Oh, I knew you would. Water? Water on our land? Isn't it wonderful, Papa? Now the creek won't go dry in the summer like it used to. We'll have all the water we need. Sure, now we can raise stock instead of just farming. Well, that is you could, sir. Oh, Papa, this is Vincent Harwell. Vince, this is my father. Your daughter told me all about you, sir. Welcome home, Mr. Dubrow. Thank you. How did you know where the water was? Oh, Vince studied up on it, Papa. <laughs> you know, when I saw how the land dipped low there and away from the rocks, well, I just knew there'd be water there. Well, you two talk while I cook. Oh, no, no, I, uh, I, I, I've got to be going, but I'll see you soon. You come out tomorrow? Oh, sure, sure. Uh, please uh, welcome uh, again, sir. Thank you. Bye, Vince. Come on, Pop. I want to show you what a good cook I am. Sit down, Papa. Miss Vince. How long have you known him? Oh, about a year now. Ever since he came to town. Don't you think he's nice? I just met him. <laughs> Coffee will be ready in a minute. What does he do? Oh, he's just a ranch hand now, Papa. But he's a very hard worker. Someday he'll have a place of his own. Sit down, sit down. What else do you know about him? Well, he... Well, for one thing, he's very good at helping a young lady get her farm ready for her father, who's been away for 12 years. Now sit down. Oh, I almost forgot. Close your eyes. Close my eyes? Go on, Pop. It's a surprise. Well, what, what kind of surprise? You'll see. Open up. White roses. Your mother's roses. They were still growing. I just encouraged them a little. When I left that prison, I thought... Thank you, Laurie. I'm so glad you're home, Papa. Come on, Vince. You can't get away that easy. All right, I surrender. <laughs> I still say you're the luckiest man in town. Come on, it's not all luck. Not luck. An old Indian shows you where there's water to make a broken-down farm worth a fortune? I call that luck. What are you talking about? It's not my farm. Oh, not yet it isn't. Come on, honey, buy me a beer. All right, one beer. Did your girl Sally come in from out of town? Susan? Oh, Papa. Oh, I wanted to tell you when you first came home, Papa. 
But that was your day. And I wanted you to see Vince. Get to know him for yourself before I told you. And it's all settled? Oh, we've been together every day for the past three months, fixing the house, and I love him, Papa. Love. You say it like, hello, goodbye, how are you? This is marriage you're talking about. I'm not a little kid. I grew up a lot in 12 years. Laurie. You're a very pretty girl. So one night you're holding hands and there's a moon. And all of a sudden he loves you. No, Papa, not like that. But three months, Laurie, what do you know about him? All I need to. He loves me and he wants to marry me. What if you're wrong? What if he's marrying you for another reason? For the farm, maybe. Big farm now, with the water and all. Papa, don't. Could be, Laurie. Could be. How can you be sure? Why do you have to doubt everything? Why don't you trust people? You don't know what life is. Then I'll have to learn. How can I know life if I never get a chance to live it? Laura, you've got to know everything about him. I know this, Papa. He loves me. Not for my face or the way I look in the moonlight. Not for the farm. For me, Papa. Just me. Oh, say you understand, Papa, please. I need you. And Vince. Please. All right, Laurie, all right. Oh, thank you, Papa. All right. I'm gonna be so happy. Thank you. Oh, well, good morning. I figured I'd get an early start before the sun got up too hot. See, according to my calculations, that stream bed should run right I through here. I saw you in town yesterday with that woman. Well, she's just a girl. I mean, you knew where the water was all along. Yes, sir, I did. Well, then why go through all this? Well, I suppose I... I didn't want to just help Laurie. I just thought I wanted to impress her, too. See, by the time you came, it was too late to tell the truth, and I... I suppose I wanted to impress you, too, sir. What for? Sir, I want to marry Laurie. Well, I know I don't have any money or anything like that, Mr. Dubrow, but I love her. I love her very much, sir. She's all I got, boy. All I got in the world. Oh, I know that, sir. I'll do anything, everything for her. You just be good to her. You hear me? Once you planted for Mama, he remembered. You're a very beautiful bride, Laurie. Thank you, Papa. Uh, it stopped raining. Oh, good, Papa. Laurie, are you sure? Oh, Papa. I'm so happy my heart's gonna burst out of my throat and fly away.
join hands, please. Dear friends, we are gathered here today on this happy occasion to join together these two in holy... I promise. Honor bright, Bob. Laurie. Say it. For me. Honor bright. Honor bright. Stay for the funeral. Stay away from me, Dubro. I want to give you something. Here. Take it. Wherever you go, no matter how you try to hide, I'll find you to give you one of her roses. When I've given you the last one, You'll be finished.
boys. You keep away from me, too. Here you are, Vince. The last one. Take it. Take it. Come on, you take it away. Take it away! Take it away! No, no, he was gonna kill me! He was gonna kill these guys! His hand! Look at his hand! He was gonna kill me! With a rose? You killed him in cold blood. You're gonna hang. I never touched them, Laurie. Honor bright. fresh, but remember what brought you here. I've remembered every night since I've been in this place. Cheap, drunken gambler grabbing a man's own wife. Pawn her. I had every right to kill him. No man has that right. Now put those hands of yours to better use. Here. Here's ten dollars. Twelve years. Dubrow, go home. Home? Won't be much of a home. Land lying fallow all these years. House not lived in. Must be weeds and firewood by now. No family? Well, my wife Julia died six months after they brought me here. And we had a little girl. Where is she? I don't know. Julia's sister took her in. She must be almost a woman by now. She'll take care of you. Not if I can help it, she won't. What? Right. Uh, I mean, it would be better for her if she don't see me. All I could bring her is shame. Can I go now? Stay back with me, in here. Don't come back here. 